Martin Anderson, your reaction to the news that there could be some delay to this uh, narrow water bridge, what do you make of it? Well, as I say, it's not new news. It is news and uh, a concern that we have had for many, many months. And we have been flagging it up in Sinn Féin. I actually raised it at our Ardesh. And I have called on the Finance Minister to get us act together. The fact that we could lose potentially £20 million of EU money because of uh, inactivity by the Minister, indecisiveness, and people have got concern. People are concerned because of the location of the project. People have asked me, is this a sectarian decision that is being made? People are concerned at the rationale behind a finance minister potentially losing an opportunity for £20 million. It is a no-brainer. Economic opportunities, tourism opportunities, the connectivity. I'm absolutely convinced about this project, as are many, many others. And people cannot understand why Sammy Wilson is not taking the decisive action that is needed, make the decision, get this project on the road, secure that EU money, get the bridge built and bring to the area the kind of opportunities that Nara Water Bridge will, will provide for both communities on each side will benefit as a result of this. I mean, what's your own personal opinion as to the problems for this bridge? Uh, the EU seem willing to provide the money. Uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm, such as from yourself, for this bridge. What do you think is the heart at heart here, of the, the heart of the problem? Well, that's therein is the burning question, because people are asking why there has been a delay. Why is the finance minister not making a very sharp decision on a project to bring £20 million into an area in this climate? You know, people are saying, what is he at here? Why is he stalling? And therefore, that is necessitating an answer from him. And it is provoking people into having conversation and discussions as they're having with me and ask me, is he making a sectarian decision? Is this about a sectarian delay? Is it just trying to ensure that this bridge goes past the time frame for trying to draw down EU money? And as a result of it, it's not going to be able to be built because he has procrastinated for too long. It is absolutely a scandal that we are here still waiting on this decision to be made. The decision should have been made many, many months ago. The funding should have been put in place in order to take it to the next phase. And I think Sammy now needs to get his act together and act in a professional, effective way and act as a finance minister should. A no-brainer for any finance minister should be to see this opportunity, £20 million of EU funding, funding and grab it. How great do you think the risk is that uh, the EU money could disappear, that it could not materialise? How big a concern is it that that could really happen? Well, I'm very concerned. We're in 2013. The next EU funding streams now are being discussed, are being discussed in the room next door uh, about different projects and people are trying to project and look, to, look ahead. The EU will set conditions for drawing down funding. They will give time frame because they need to ensure that the project is going to be built within a particular time and the project should have been started. The fact that it's not started, I am very concerned that there's a potential of losing out this massive amount of funding that the North quite simply cannot afford to lose and Sammy Wilson cannot afford to base his decision on the fact that he may not like the location of this project. Just briefly, finally, uh, you mentioned cannot afford to lose. How important is this bridge? If it didn't go ahead, how damaging would that be? Well, I think in terms of the community, the damage that people are going to experience themselves because they have high hopes about economic opportunities, employment opportunities. Like in the one hand, you have Sammy Wilson, an executive minister, sitting around discussing the impact of unemployment in the north, uh, in the north and in the other. Here we have an opportunity to create employment and he He's not actually pursuing that. Tourism opportunities, the connectivity that you're going to have between uh, between both communities, how you can arrive at a location um, a lot quicker than what you can at the moment. I mean, they're just it's just bubbling with opportunities that are there. And you know that these opportunities can be realised if this bridge can be built. And I think there's an awful lot of people in that area going to be extremely disappointed if he if, if, if as a result of his procrastination, we do not see this bridge be, being built.